Greetings YouTube, hope you're well. It's Saturday the 11th of February and I just wanted to do a quick video on how to test an electric bike hub like this. This is 72 volt, 3 kilowatt. Uh, how to test a motor like this without actually having a battery or a controller. So here we can see clearly that it forms a square shape. So what I'm going to do is I need to fit this end in the vise, the end with the cable. And on my one kilowatt bike hub, the all the cables came through the centre, but because these are a lot thicker, they come out the side, which is annoying, but isn't going to be a big problem with what I plan to do with the wind turbine. So anyway, I'm going to put this bit in the vise and make sure I'm not bothering any of this cable. So really, I just want to put the first one centimetre in. I've got this new vise, which I got off Facebook for £30, which is, has a six inch opening. Right, I'm going to give it a spin. Hopefully you'll be able to see, uh, sorry, hopefully you'll be able to hear the cool sound that it makes and notice that the spindle itself it obviously stays stationary and it's this part that's moving. Right, now let's show this. So here we have the three power wires, which when used as a turbine, they're going to bring the juice down the tower. These are actually really heavy duty, so I think that's a good sign. These are the other wires which, if you were using it as a bike, would go to the controller and the brakes and the throttle, etc, etc. I'm interested in maybe if there's a way, if we took some of these down the tower, that we could calculate the RPM. If anyone knows of any little electronic wizardry, etc, then we could do that. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to short two of the wires together. So I'm going to hold the green wire and the yellow wire and then I'm going to turn the motor and it's very stiff and lumpy. I don't know if you can see it, it must be uh, sort of acting against itself every time it goes past a magnet. I don't know if you can see it. Now if I connect all three together, just need to get a bolt. Okay so now we have the three phases of the motor essentially fully shorted out. And when I try and turn it, it's very stiff to turn. It's smooth, but it's very hard to turn. You can see it moving that vice really easily, and that vice is, I don't know, 12 or 13 kilos. But that is the way you can check that all the wires are connected properly inside. Okay, just a recap. Two wires, and it's a juddery movement as the flux or whatever passes over each magnet or each coil. And then with all three on, very stiff, very hard to turn. So I just wanted to show you that. What I plan to do, uh, before I tear it apart and cut all the spokes off to make a wind turbine out of it, I do plan on connecting it to six 12 volt batteries that I've got, which I'll connect in series, and then I'll connect all the controller and the display up just to test it once before I destroy it. So that might be my next video. So enjoy. Just a, re a reminder, this was 300 pounds with the controller. Uh, but I'm probably planning to sell the controller, recoup some of the money. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.